This movie reinvigorated my love of the MCU. I just saw Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness and I have some thoughts. What is up? I am the G.I. Joel and I love comic books so much I quit a full-time job to pursue my dream of being a full-time content creator and owning my very own comic book shop. And in this episode of G.I. Joel at the Movies, I'm going to be giving my spoiler-free thoughts on the latest installment in the MCU Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. As always, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to join the G.I. Joel Nation. To start off, the acting in this movie was absolutely incredible. Benedict Cumberbatch rarely disappoints. And now, after five movies, he very clearly has an idea of how to play Doctor Strange. He completely understands the characters, and in a lot of ways, he has totally become Stephen Strange. And Elizabeth Olsen was incredible as Wanda. She makes the character really understandable, really relatable, and has an incredible on-scene presence. And when it comes to directorial style, this movie felt a lot more like a Sam Raimi classic horror movie than it did a Marvel movie. And in my mind, Raimi has cemented himself as one of the greatest superhero movie directors of all time. Now that you're adding in Multiverse of Madness along with the incredible Spider-Man series, especially Spider-Man 2, he has really cemented himself as a phenomenal comic book director. And his ability to mix in both the horror and the fantasy alongside, you know, Doctor Strange, it really was a fantastic blend in two genres that really belong together. And there were more than a couple of times where I jumped. He had some really great jump scares in there, some really great tension and moments of suspense that really built up and you really felt it with the characters. You know, one of the things that I kind of have a problem with when it comes to the Marvel movies is the plots can really start to feel formulaic and a lot of things in the movie can feel forced. You know, it feels like they're trying to fit so much in to one story and, you know, that's been one of my biggest issues with the MCU and one of the reasons that I have been suffering from the Marvel fatigue. But with this movie, there was absolutely none of that. Everything flowed naturally. The plot was wonderful. The development of the characters was great. And any humor that was there didn't feel forced. And like I said before, I can safely say this movie has completely reinvigorated my love for the MCU. It is easily the best movie of Phase 4 so far. And like many people are, I was really suffering from the dreaded Marvel fatigue. But, you know, this movie has really shown that Marvel still has a lot to offer. That they still have a lot of great things in store. And that they can still make truly unique and original movies. Now, I know at the beginning I said that there weren't going to be any spoilers, but from here on out, there are going to be a few spoilers. So if you haven't seen Doctor Strange, this is your warning. So some of the things that I really enjoyed about this was the Illuminati scene. I thought it was great. You know, seeing John Krasinski as Reed Richards was great. Everyone in the theater completely lost it when that happened, myself included. You know, I'm kind of on the fence about John Krasinski playing Reed Richards. You know, I don't really know if he meets the character requirements. You know, those of us that read the comics know Reed is not the best guy he's very self-centered but you know hopefully this means that he either will come back and reprise the role or you know maybe they're gonna have someone else in the future but I thought he did a great job for the bit that he was in and the post credit scene where they introduced Clea played by Charlize Theron which I think is fantastic but I think that means that we're moving one step closer to Secret Wars which I think is the event that Kevin Feige is going to use to consolidate all of these different movie universes you know I was saying that there's an incursion being formed we're going back into the dark dimension you know obviously with Clea that means possibly return of Dormammu but I think that's the best way that he can bring back the X-Men the Fantastic Four you know all of these different properties consolidate them into one universe and I think Secret Wars is the way that he's going to do that and this is a very clear step in that direction it was also great seeing Patrick Stewart return as Professor Xavier in the hover chair the look was great everything about it and the scene where the Illuminati fought against Wanda I thought it was really great you know a lot of people say that the Illuminati scene felt kind of rushed and that they were wasted characters I have to heavily disagree with that I think having them being wiped out so quickly by Wanda really showcased her power but you know it was like the fan servicey thing that we typically get in the MCU but you know it didn't feel forced this time it felt very natural and it felt like a great part of the story overall I absolutely love this film I give it a strong four out of five stars but I'm guessing if you stayed this far in the video that you've seen Multiverse of Madness I would love to get your thoughts down in the comments and as always be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification to join the G.I. Joel Nation